Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. So how's it going everyone? We are going to get right into the video because not to say this was shocking, but to actually see it happen in an official is shocking, I think. We'll cut right to the chase. DVD, your, Daniel fa your favorite duchy and mine. She officially is leaving Arsenal and has officially signed with Leon. Official. Wow. After six years. Yeah, after six years. You know, because we remember at the very end of the season, the Super League season, we remember that was that was the rumor. You know, she's going to be signed. Because I know that sometimes you hear things back and forth and sometimes nothing comes from it. And sometimes it does. Mm -hmm. And also, if you remember that very last game where they played um, a, like a month or two ago, you know, there was that moment with her and Jordan and they were hugging and crying. There were some tears. There yes. Some tears. So I think most people knew that more than likely that she would not um, uh, continue to play with Arsenal. They would, she would sign a contract with, you know, either another team or Lyon, which was always the rumor. But yeah, I'm going to put it on the screen here. Um, she posted this yesterday and it says, I'm ready for the next step. So proud and excited to join this amazing club, Club Lyon. Thank you, Arsenal, for everything these last six years. Six years. Wow. That's the, it's like the end of an era. It really is. I mean, when you are on a team for six years, which is actually not very common, especially like women's sports or even soccer, even in baseball, football, that's not even that common in any sport to stay no, that long. long time. When you have been with a team for that long, you're a fixture on that team. You're The fans know you. They embrace you. you the 29-year-old Netherlands international has signed a two-year deal with the French team after reaching the end of her Arsenal contract. Vandy Dock joined the women's Super League side from Gothenburg in 2015 and went on to make 142 appearances for the Gunners, scoring 45 goals. She helped Arsenal to the WSL title in 2019 and the FA Cup in 2016. Vandy Donk has scored 27 goals in 112 matches for the Netherlands as part of the team. And she won the Euros. So, yeah, I mean. She's done things. You know, it's, it, and it makes sense to kind of move on. You can't, I think a lot of times people like staying at a certain club. From everything I'm reading around, she likes staying there. But you can't. You have to see what else is out there. You want to go... To be able to grow as a player. Yeah. I mean, you know, Lyon, I believe, has better luck, has overall done really well at Champions League, and I think there's a lot of opportunities outside of Arsenal. But when you're there for so long, that's like Tom Brady. You know, we're from New England. We're moving, but we're from New England. <laughs> I have to bring Tom. He this. was with the Patriots for 20 years. I mean, that's unheard of, too. But when he left, it was shocking, and he went to another club and won the Super Bowl there. So... It's kind of like you I have to heard of Tom Brady. Who's he? Never, he? No, he's, he cheats. Mm, oh, God. That's what <laughs> I know. You have to go, you know, where you have to make those changes. But she did. Um, so yesterday it was announced. And then she did write an open letter to the Arsenal fans. And we'll read, it was a pretty long letter. But we'll read what is on the Arsenal page. So we're going to read a little bit of it. And then we're going to talk about it. An open letter to you from Daniel von der Donk. Honestly, I never thought I would stay at Arsenal for six years. It's so rare that footballers stay in one place for so long, and I know that all too well. When I arrived at Arsenal in 2015, I'd just come from Sweden, and I'd only actually played there for four or five months. Gothenburg was a great city, but it was my first adventure abroad, outside of the Netherlands, and I found it a lot harder than I expected, than I, than I expected it to be, being away from home. But then Arsenal came in, and I knew I wasn't ready to go back to the Netherlands just yet. Pedro brought me over here and wanted to ease me in a new style of football. I remember being quite annoyed that he put me on the bench at the beginning. But then one game, I looked to my left and saw Casey Stoney, Kelly Smith, and Farrah Williams. Wow. Oh my god, is that the bench? I thought to myself. The standards are ridiculous here. And let me tell you, they are. I was known as a bit of a rebel when I first arrived here, but everyone at the club helped me grow up to be more professional and become more of an all-around player. All-around player. I was challenged on a daily basis by the great teammates I had around me. This, the level was high and the standards were high, and I think all of those factors helped me to develop my football intelligence. I had to learn to be clever. I had to learn to be more physical. I had to learn... I had to make loads of steps to become the player I am today. And without those steps that Arsenal gave me, there's no way I would have been able to achieve anything I've done since I arrived here. Winning the Euros with the Netherlands, the Women's Super League title, the FA Cup, I've done a lot. 
I've had such a great time with everyone, too, and that's a big thing I'll remember from my time at Arsenal. I spent my first year with the oldies, the legends of the game, and had so much fun. They made me feel so welcome and at home here in North London. Arsenal is a special place, and I'm so happy to have stayed here for so long. Yeah, so that was what was on the Instagram. There's actually more to the letter. Will, I'm sure you guys, maybe we'll link it down below, but I'm sure everyone has read it. It was so heartfelt and so thoughtful and so emotional. You know, you've been somewhere yeah. so long, and she talks about so long. And I'm reading here, um, uh, Vandy Dog joined Arsenal 2015, and she set the record for most appearances by a non-British or Irish player, playing 142 times with the club. Uh, so, I mean, Arsenal fans, you know, I'm gutted for them. They're going to, you know, when they go back to the, when they go back to a match, they're not going to see Dan, Dan, it's going to be weird for them. Yeah. And, you know, the, in the Arsenal team is kind of changing, too. Jill has left. Joe has left. They've had a couple new signings. So it's kind of a different uh, vibe now. But that kind of leads us into the second part of the video, which was Dan is going to be leaving Beth. And it's funny because you think about, you know, this it's going to come up eventually, probably a lot of partners who play that they're going to be separated again at some point. But now it was real, and now it's it's happening. And Beth also did on her Instagram, posted, so, so proud of you. Going to miss you like crazy, but it's what you deserve, baller. <laughs> That's cute. Um, and then if you go to the comments from Dan's announcement, Beth says, super proud of you, Don J. I think that's what you say. Go rock it over there. And then Dan had a heart. So, I mean, I bet it's really, I mean, this kind of, it's emotional, you know, and Beth is trying to be the most supportive partner she can because Dan deserves it. You know what I mean? It's yeah. a whole struggle. You love someone so much, you want to see them succeed and grow and do your thing, but you're going to miss them at the same point. I know. It's, it's, it's tough. It's, it's, yeah, it's a tough situation. On Beth's Twitter, again, she tweets, so, so proud of you. It's what you deserve. I'll miss you like crazy. Go smash it up, Danji. And then she also says, miss you already. So as you can tell, she's missing her. Yeah. You know, and it's funny because in the last, we never really talked about this, but I've kind of been thinking this. After uh, the Team GB uh, Olympic roster was announced and, and Beth wasn't included. Um, I remember right after that, Dan and Beth were posting a lot more frequently together. Do you remember those pictures of when they went on a sushi date? And well, then... I want sushi now. Yeah, they went on a sushi date and they were doing yeah, things outside. And at that time, I kind of was thinking, you know, Dan is really being there for Beth because not being selected is heartbreaking for Beth. So... Um, she, you know, she was being extra cuddly and extra there for her as her partner. So I did notice that because they went to, what else did they do? They went to sushi together. So it seemed like at that point, you know, I was honestly thinking it was mostly trying to, you know, you know, just like your partner trying to pep you up, you know, you know, make you feel better, comfort you. Mm -hmm. um, but now I'm realizing it, it was that a little bit, but it's also them realizing their time together was more limited because... Yeah because they knew Dan was probably going to leave. So they were enjoying every moment they could with each other. And they had been posting more. And, you know, under and look at that cute picture. Like, that is such a cute picture right there. Yeah. They're very cute. Them knowing that, you know, this time was going to be limited. I mean, obviously, when you play, you're not going to be there every single day of the year, obviously. And France and England are not that far apart from each other either. It's not like one's going to Australia or America or something. It's only but, a train ride away. Um, yeah, exactly. exactly. But I think they were really there for each other. And I think Beth is trying her hardest to be the most... She is, no, she is being the most supportive um, partner you can be, but it's still hard for both of them. I keep saying Beth because, you know, Dan's the one who's leaving, but... Yeah, I mean, it must be really hard. Like, when you left me... No. Yeah, I know. <laughs> when you left for California, mm -hmm. that was the worst. Yeah, and that was just two months, really. Overall, I was gone for about two months, and every worst single two day. Worst months of my life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. kidding. No. <laughs> I mean, because you weren't yeah. here. Yeah, but the good thing about you know, she, Beth wants Dan to succeed so much. You know, so she's cheering for her so much, and I know. But they're both. I mean, they're both going to be busy still footballing. Exactly. Good point. Exactly. So it's not like one is 
gonna not be doing much and the other you know yeah they're still gonna be um busy babes <laughs> I like that. and also we know if a couple wants to make it work long distance they can make it work if they're both you know committed and they want it to work you know we always talk about magda and um Purnell. they were long distance for a long time it, it didn't even seem to phase them i'm sure it did but they wanted it to work it worked Congrats to Dan for getting this new contract. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, Dan and Beth, they're solid. I, I'm not worried. But, you know, I think a couple tears will be shed. I mean, I couldn't imagine. You, even if you were going to become something amazing in another state, I would still. That's hurtful. I already am amazing. Something else amazing. Okay. That's right. <laughs> I would cry for days. And I and I don't know if Beth is a crier, but I would be crying for days. But even if it was for you the You cried good, when you dropped your toast. I do cry a lot. That was you. Anything oh, with that food. Was me. <laughs> so, yeah. Congrats to Dan. I think it's only appropriate now to bid her farewell with this farewell song that I'm about to perform for you guys. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm worried. So long farewell to you, my friends. Goodbye <laughs> for now until we meet again. I said so, so long farewell. farewell. To you, my friends, so long, farewell, until we meet again. <laughs> so what do you guys think? I think a lot of people were shook. And Arsenal fans, I mean, obviously the Arsenal fans have been with Dan for a long time. It's it's going to be a shock to when they go back to the match and there's no Dan. But but it's positive. You know, it's, it's positive. It's a transition, but a good transition. Yeah, it'll be a new, exciting adventure. Exactly. I'm excited to see. Questions, comments down below. What do you guys think? Um, yeah. Are you guys sad? Are you excited? I'm sure, you know. No. Let us know in the comments down below. Absolutely. We'll talk to you later. Have a Thank good night. Thank you and good night.